that subscribe, everybody. Give the video a like and toggle on that bell notification so you know when the all new and improved The Skull Report goes online. Tough few weeks to be a Viking fan. Three losses in very winnable games. The team continues to be plagued by turnovers, untimely turnovers, gut-wrenching, hair-pulling turnovers. The search for a quarterback that can lead this team ongoing Is it Dobbs? Is it Mullins? Is it Hall? At least from the sounds of it, it looks like the Vikings will roll with Nick Mullins, yet another journeyman quarterback. Meanwhile, others that we've sent away, we've cast away, like Mr. Browning, are basking in the glory of defeating their former team. What will it take for this Vikings team to finally wake up, become consistent? I don't know, y'all. Are they going to miss these playoffs? Are they going to miss the playoffs? And if they get in the playoffs, is it just another one and done? We know if they make it, they're very likely to be another road team. They'll be on the road. I just don't know, y'all. I just don't know. Let's go to the stats and information page real quick and take a look at the schedule going out. The schedule going out has the Vikings travel or hosting the Lions. So we've got two games at home. We've got the Lions at home first. The Lions, a huge year for them. 10 and 4, first in the NFC North. Very likely, almost guaranteed to hoist their first NFC North banner in forever. Packers trying to get it going, but losing as well. Bears issues. Vikings currently 7-7, seven and seven, second in the NFC North, an average football team at best, horrible football team at worst. And I'm going to scroll down just a tad here, team stats, you see the Lions they average about 266 yards in total passing yards per game. The Vikings, 265. So that's a push. Rushing yards, the Lions, um, that rookie, Jameer Gibbs, among others. And Gibbs is the other guy on Atlanta, but they've got a rookie there as well. Points per game. Lions average about a touchdown more than we do. We do give up more points per game than the Vikings, though. But man, they score touchdowns, y'all. They got us beat by a good clip on the touchdown margin. We're both about the same in scoring efficiency and third down efficiency. Vikings get to the quarterback due to that heavy blitz race. The matchup history 
typical, typical. But in the last five matchups, the Lions hold a three to two advantage. They take that to five. Last meeting was 12 11 of 2022. The Lions kind of put us away in that one. A little butt kick in there. Most of the other ones, though, were very close. Other than that Viking win in 2020. That's a look at the Lions matchup. Let's go to week 17. Where they'll take on the Packers in what looks like it is a primetime game on New Year's Eve. Packers currently six and eight. Here's a look at the team stats for that contest. Both teams about evenly matched there as well. But what is the sentiment out there right now, y'all? If you went to Twitter or X and you put in a search term of Vikings playoffs, these are the returns. This fellow apparently is going to retire from going to Minnesota football games. <laughs> but Purple for the win put up a... Uh, Tweet there, quoting Upshot New NYT. And they're giving the Vikings a 52% chance of making the playoffs. 48% that they'd be out entirely. Vikings fans watching this team somehow playing in the first round of the playoffs. I am not Team Tank. Anyone who knows me knows I am not Team Tank. But it is a little concerning. Oops, wrong screen. It is a little concerning. Is this going to be all for naught? First, can they do it? You definitely have to root for them to make the show if you're a Viking fan. But if they do, where do they end up playing? And is it going to be an absolute abomination like we've seen before in these wild card games? Time is going to tell. And it'll all start next Sunday. That's an early game next Sunday. So this is when the Vikings tend to do their best when we're not under the bright lights. But it looks like it'll be Mullins. Kevin O'Connell still seems to have hope for Alexander Madison. But if Ty Chandler is not the RB, RB1 going forward, you got to wonder. You got to wonder what O'Connell is thinking. I did a video yesterday asking if O'Connell should be replaced at the end of the year by Brian Flores, the defensive coordinator, um, before we lose him to another team because I totally anticipate that as these final weeks wind down, Flores' name is going to come up a lot in head coach openings. He will be interviewed. Yeah, weird time. Weird time to be a Viking fan, y'all. So many games that we should have won easily. 
Two touchdown advantage this week. Squandered. Three scores in a row after the Vikings defense hadn't given up a touchdown in forever. And former Viking Browning from California set unbelievable records playing in high school in California. The Vikings had him in on the practice squad, let him go, and he banked it. He banked it. He put it in his memory bank and made us pay. But I'm going to do a lot more of these Viking standalone videos here on the Skull Report here on the channel. I appreciate you supporting and watching these. I'll ask you to hit me up in the comments below. Do you think, do you think the Minnesota Vikings will make the NFL playoffs in 2023? And if they do, do they have any kind of a chance of making some noise and chasing after their first ever Lombardi Trophy. 1977 is when I became a fan of this team, y'all. The last Super Bowl they were in. Parents went to the game. I watched the game on a black and white TV. 13 inch. Trying to find them in the crowd. My love for the purple and gold. Born on that day. And I got to say, the move to California when I was three <laughs> might have saved me from absolute sports misery. All my other teams that I selected, the Lakers, the Los Angeles Kings, and my beloved L.A. Dodgers, have won championships in my lifetime. But one remains, the Minnesota Vikings. You can't win it if you're not in the show, y'all. You can't win it if you're not in the show. I just don't know if this team's got it, y'all. I don't know if this team has got what it takes to compete for one Vince Lombardi trophy but it's getting real close to christmas y'all getting real close to christmas so i want to wish you and yours a merry christmas happy holidays and happy new year uh, encouraging you to hit that subscribe button give the video a like toggle on that bell notification and we'll see you in the next skull report for now valhalla signing off Everybody have a great rest of your day.